32. A train is moving forward with a speed dp. A stone is launched from the back of the train with a velocity vs relative to the train at an angle theta above the horizontal as shown. Which of the following expressions best represents the horizontal x position and vertical y position of the stone relative to its initial position as functions of time t? Now, we need to discuss the relative velocity because they give you here the velocity of the train relative to the ground, which is clearly VTI, only in the x direction, and the initial velocity of the stone relative to the train, which was negative Vs cosine of the angle I plus Vs sine of the angle J. However, this is only the initial velocity. The velocity of the stone as a function of time has a changing y component. The horizontal component is still minus Vs cosine of theta i, but the vertical component is Vs sine of theta minus gt j. Now, given that this is the velocity of the stone relative to the train, then the velocity of the stone relative to the ground is equal to the vector addition, velocity of the stone relative to the train plus velocity of the train relative to the ground. That should be in the x direction, vt minus vs cosine of theta, which is a constant value. But you have vs sine of theta minus gt for the velocity in the y direction, and that varies with time. Therefore, your position x should be simply given as the velocity in x times the time, so vt minus vs cosine of theta time, but the position y should be equal to initial velocity vs sine of theta time minus one half g t squared and that is option d